Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to our SPI Ultrasound Physics Bridges Review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question and give enough time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive back into this thing. What happens right after an image goes into digital? A. Displayed as analog. B. Gets stored in the scan converter. C. Becomes a binary code. Or D. Goes to PAX. The answer is A, displayed as analog. If you increase frequency, what will happen in a blood vessel? A, absorption, B, attenuation, C, reflection, or D, scattering? The answer is D. Scattering is caused when the structure is smaller than the wavelength and red blood cells are technically smaller than a wavelength. How do you correct this image? A. Increase wall filter. B. Decrease reject. C. Increase gain. Or D. Decrease wall filter. This image shows three little wall thump artifacts, which means your wall filter is turned down too low. So what you want to do is increase your wall filter to eliminate it. What is the advantage of a phased array? A, higher frame rate. B, higher frequency. C, faster pulses. Or D, multifocusing. The answer is D, multifocusing. What order do you put on PPE when you go into a room? A, gloves, apron, mask, goggles. B, mask, goggles, apron, gloves. C, gloves, goggles, mask, apron. Or D, apron, mask, goggles, gloves. The answer is D. First you put on your apron, then your mask, then your goggles and your gloves. How would you fix this image? A. Increase frequency. B. Increase depth. C. Decrease depth. Or D. Increase gain. The answer is decreased depth because the depth here is increased way too much. So you want to decrease it to increase your frame rates. How would you improve frame rate in this image? A. Increase line density. B. Increase depth. C. Decrease depth. Or D. Increase harmonics. The answer is C, decreased depth. What artifact is this? A, reverberations. B, acoustic enhancement. C, acoustic shadowing. 
or decommitel. The answer is B, acoustic enhancement. And there's a couple other artifacts I wanna show you. For instance, right here, this is a speed error artifact where it looks like the diaphragm is broken. So this is enhancement here, 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 and this is edge shadowing here and here, mostly around oblique structures. You'll find these edge shadowing artifacts. What does the circled area evaluate? A, depth resolution, B, contrast resolution, C, elevational resolution, or D, dynamic range. The answer is a, depth resolution, a.k.a. axial resolution. You have to make sure that you know some of the synonyms for axial resolution, which is LARD, longitudinal axial range radial depth. But keep in mind, this can also evaluate lateral resolution, but that's not part of the options here. So this is the best option, depth resolution. Look for words obviously called transverse resolution, angular resolution, and azimuthal resolution. Which will show no color Doppler? A, zero degrees. B, 90 degrees, C, negative 180 degrees, or D, 45 degrees. The answer is B, 90 degrees. How do you fix this artifact? A, increase compression, B, increase compensation, C, increase wall filter, or D, decrease gain. Keep in mind, this isn't wall thump, but this is called spectral broadening and what you want to do is decrease your gains to reduce that artifact. What does the circled area evaluate? A, depth, B, sensitivity, C, axial resolution, or D, dead zone. And the answer is C axial resolution. What adjustment was changed to make the image on the left look like the image on the right? A. Dynamic range, B. Harmonics, C. Gain, or D. Compensation. The answer is B, harmonics. What adjustment was changed to make the image on the left look like the image on the right? A, compression decreased, B, gain increased, C, harmonics increased, or D, compensation decreased. The answer is A, compression decreased to give this image more of a high contrasty look. What adjustment was made to make image A look like image B? A, compression decreased, B, wall filter increased, C, dynamic range increased, or D, gain decreased.
So what happened to make this image here look like this image here? This image here, image A, is a high contrast, where this image here is a low contrast, meaning your dynamic range increased because your compression increased. How do you fix this image? A, increase frequency. B, decrease gain. C, increase scale. Or D, increase baseline. The spectral waveform is aliasing or wrapping around on itself. So what you do is you increase your scale so that you're more able to accurately measure a peak velocity. Which will show the worst Doppler? A, zero degrees, B, 45 degrees, C, negative 180 degrees, or D, 90 degrees. The answer is D, 90 degrees. This chart represents the quality assurance of a Doppler Phantom. What is the specificity? A, 63%, B, 75%, C, 83%, or D, 71%. To calculate the specificity, you take your true negatives and divide that by the sum of your true negatives plus your false positives. So we're going to take 5 and divide that by 8, or divide 8 into 5, and that will give us 0 0.625, just round up and you got 63%. How do you improve frame rate? A. Decrease line density. B. Increase depth. C. Increase pulses. Or D. Increase output power. The answer is A, decrease your line density. What do you assume if you have a true negative? A, exam is correct to show disease. B, exam is incorrect. C, disease is present. Or D, no disease. A true negative means that you don't have a disease and a test shows that you don't have a disease. The test was correct to show that there's no disease. So the answer is D, no disease. How do you fix filled in spectral window artifacts? A, decrease gain. B, increase wall filter. C, decrease depth. Or D, increase frequency. This question is basically describing spectral broadening, and what you'll do is just decrease your gain. How do you fix speckle artifacts? A, increase frequency. B, edge enhancement. C, increase line density. Or D, read magnification.
The answer is B, edge enhancement. How do you degrade frame rate? A, increase depth. B, decrease line density. C, decrease sector width. Or D, increase pixel size. The answer is A, increased depth. These two will actually improve frame rate, and this has nothing to do with frame rate. If you increase frequency, how will this affect frame rate? A, degrades, B, directly improves, C, indirectly improves, or D, no effect. The answer is C, indirectly improves, because when you increase the frequency, your penetration goes down, meaning you're looking at more superficial areas, and when you decrease the depth or look at more superficial areas, your frame rate goes up. Which will improve frame rate? A, longer pulses, B, faster pulses, C, narrower pulses, or D, smaller pulses? The answer is B, faster pulses. What adjustment was made to make image A look like image B? A, compression increased, B, wall filter increased, C, dynamic range increased, or D, gain increased? So what happened to make this image here look like this image here? This is image A, this is image B. The answer is D, gain increased. And that concludes all the questions for this test. I'll hurry and write 25 more questions and upload that video as fast as I can. If any of you need any SPI tutoring, feel free to subscribe to our SPI tutoring on our website, ultrasoundboardofview.com, and I will personally teach you everything you need to know of what to expect for your boards. If you're looking for mock exams, you can go subscribe to our mock exams on our website as well. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardofview.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.